Good afternoon, everyone. I remember being on the other side of this podium, watching the student speakers in awe of their ability to tell their stories, convey their journeys, and teleport the audience into their world. Since middle school, I've dreamed that one day I'd be the one up here sharing my journey with you all, but apprehensive of the fact that my story might not be as interesting to tell as is. But as I've grown, I've learned that it's all about perspective and not so much about what you tell as how you tell it. So to start myself off, let me set the scene for you all. I'm sitting with my senior year AVID teacher, Mrs. Crompton. <laughs> staring at the laptop in front of me. Staring back at me is the status update button on my college decision portal. <laughs> my finger hovers over the touchpad, anxiously debating back and forth whether or not I should open the college decision. A million thoughts race in my brain, the most prominent one being my entire life Every decision I've made in my life up to this point has brought me to this very decision right here. In retrospect, maybe I was being a bit dramatic. <laughs> but looking back at the decisions I made, the one I'm most thankful for was being part of AVID. Growing up, I've always considered myself to have an analytical mind. I love playing with variables, making inferences with information given, and investigating potential factors for an outcome. I wasn't very into video games, but rather I saw life as a game of sorts. How do the choices I make define my character, and how much of my predicament is explained by fate versus my own decision making? In regards to my own future, how much would that path be shaped by my labels? Black, Muslim, first generation Somali American, low income, female child of African immigrant parents. I've had my fair share of being undermined, doubted, made assumptions about, and told in not the most eloquent terms that these labels, or rather, what the stereotypes of these labels entail, would be all that I'd amount to. Because of that, I constantly felt the need to prove that I was someone who was capable, and ultimately, someone who belonged. This pursuit of belonging was something that, for a large chunk of my life, fueled my passion to strive for greatness. The idea that I needed to make something worthy of myself if I wanted to be someone in this world was ingrained into my brain from a very young age. Despite this passion, I had no idea how to bring such goals into fruition. That was until I had joined AVID. I joined AVID when I was in sixth grade, only knowing that it was probably going to be good for me. I was a very ambitious child who wanted to reach for the moon and the stars and maybe even the surrounding galaxies if my fingers were long enough to grab them. So upon the revelation that AVID helps students make their college dreams come true, I thought I secured a one-way ticket to higher education town. <laughs> Little did I know that that journey to college would be the most difficult, yet the most rewarding endeavor of my high school career. Now, I think we're all familiar with the run-of-the-mill AVID procedures. Weekly TRFs, binder and grade checks, loads of college and career projects, the periodic Socratic seminar, you get the gist. 
And while I could stand in front of you and tell you all how tedious these rituals were, I honestly enjoyed these things, or more specifically, what they taught me. Socratic seminars and philosophical chairs introduced me to higher level thinking during constructive discussions, which I found to be very useful during college level English classes that I took during high school. Grade and binder checks kept me on my toes and forced me into a routine that made me the most organized I had ever been. Even tutorials taught me how to ask dynamic questions, which helped me to articulate the wonders of the world around me. To me, AVID was more than a class. It was my rock throughout the trials and tribulations of middle and high school. When I struggled to adapt to newfound adversities in my life, my AVID family supported and pushed me to overcome such challenges. My wise AVID mentors were where I sought refuge from my own self-doubt and tendency to catastrophize, taking thoughts like, what if I'm not good enough? Or, what if my faults define who I am as a student? Or, what if I do just amount to the labels assigned to me? And instead, replacing them with, I'm proud of who I am and how I'm doing. How can I be better? Thanks to AVID, I can write out an impeccable TRF in record time, maintain military-grade organization of a three-ring binder, and respectfully demolish my competition in philosophical chairs. But more importantly, AVID has provided me with the optimism to take on any of life's challenges with the utmost enthusiasm, and the resilience to always pick myself up when I fall. I will always be grateful for the tools I now have to not only be a successful student, but a well-rounded person as well. Now, let's go back to the scene we set in the beginning, with my finger hovering over that decision button. Well, I'm actually very excited to announce that as the first in my family to go to a four-year college, I will be attending Yale University with a... attending Yale University with a full-ride scholarship. <laughs> and I will be studying molecular, cellular, and developmental biology. <laughs> Thank you, AVID. <laughs> to my AVID teachers, the staff at O'Farrell, and to my family, because of you all, I am ready to take on whatever my future may hold, knowing that I am strong enough to endure it. Thank you. <laughs>